Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life, where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today we are taking a look at the Luna 6 digital video magnifier brought to us by Zoom Max. This is a pretty affordable six inch digital video magnifier that offers a lot of perks. One in particular, I've never seen on any other digital video magnifier. Let's run the intro and then we'll talk about it. So before we take a look at the new Luna 6, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I make videos about living life with vision impairment, tips and tricks videos, how-to videos, and the assistive technology that can help you live your best blind life. So if that kind of content sounds good to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted every time I put out a new video. All right, let's check out the Luna 6 which comes in a nice little carrying case here. First, let's take a look at the hardware for the Luna 6. Then we'll see it in action, talk about its performance. Now, first things first, I said that it's pretty affordable. Uh, when it comes to this size digital magnifier, it actually is. Uh, I th I've seen it listed online right around $750. Now, that could vary depending on where you order it from but that's what I was seeing. We are looking at a very nicely designed six inch video magnifier. Uh, one thing you'll notice right away when you pick it up is how super light it is. Uh, I think it's less than half of a pound, which is gonna be a very similar weight to a smartphone. It's also a very similar size to a smartphone, so it's going to slide into pockets, uh, into backpacks, into purses, things like that very easily as well. You do have a handle on the back here. The handle does slide out. The handle does add a little bit of thickness to it, but it is only the handle. The video magnifier itself is super thin. That's one of the first things I noticed when I picked it up is how incredibly thin this magnifier is. Black and white color scheme. Uh, the model that I have here has a white handle, although I believe you can get this in a black handle version as well. Handle swings out and has a full range of motion. One thing to note, which I always like to point out is if you do want to use this with the handle in like a 45 degree angle uh, where you're holding it, it's really only gonna be set up for right-handed users. You left-handed users, you're probably gonna be restricted to the full extended position for the handle. I mean, I guess you could hold it at an angle, but that's kind of weird. You also have a little kickstand on the handle here. When it is popped out, that lets you set it down on a table or a desktop and use it at a very comfortable 45 degree angle. 13 megapixel camera back here in the rear of the unit. Power button on top along with two ports. One port is to connect the Luna 6 to an external display like a TV or a monitor. That way you can use the TV or the monitor as a much larger screen to magnify in. The other port is for charging. Speaking of charging, let's talk about one of the coolest features of the Luna 6, and that is the fact that it is wireless charging enabled. So in the packaging, you get this little wireless charging plate. You can plug in the charging cable and then simply lay the Luna 6 onto the charging plate and it will start to charge wirelessly. That's really, really cool. That's a cool idea to add into a digital magnifier. I've never seen that personally, but I think that's such a great idea. Also something to mention when we're talking about power, Zoom Max claims that the Luna 6 will get five hours of battery life continuous use battery life. It's very similar to other digital magnifiers where we have very tactile buttons. You're really not gonna have any problem using this just by feel. You do have high contrast icons, labeling just about everything on the magnifier, which is really good. One nice thing about the six inch screen is that it's laid out in a kind of a widescreen format. For a video magnifier, that's gonna be really helpful, especially when you're reading text. This is also a full HD screen paired up with the 13 megapixel camera. The image on here looks really, really good. 
I don't have any complaints about that. The text looks nice and crisp, high contrast, easy to read, very simple controls. You have a zoom in and a zoom out. When you get to the maximum and the minimum magnification, it gives you a little audible beep, letting you know you've reached the end. Uh, the magnification range is 2.5 times all the way up to 19 times. So a pretty good range of magnification there. On the left side, we have our color button, changing our different color contrasts. And this has a pretty wide range of colors you can choose from. A lot of the ones we're familiar with, inverting, high contrast, black and white, black on yellow, yellow on black. Above the color contrast button here, you have a button with a little house icon. When you press this, it jumps you into the menu system here. We'll come back and talk about that here in a second. First, I wanted to show you how when you extend the handle, it goes from the near viewing mode to the distance viewing mode. There's our mountain icon, which indicates uh, viewing distance. And here the screen, now we can see things far away. And then when I put the handle back in, we go back to the near viewing mode and we're back to being able to look at our document. Below the magnification buttons on the right, you have the freeze frame button. This is very similar to other digital magnifiers. When you press that, it will take a quick screenshot. Once we have a snapshot or a freeze frame image here, we can zoom in just like normal, zoom in, zoom out. We can also, of course, change the different color contrasts, but we can also pan, and in order to do that, if the image is zoomed in a little bit, you hold down the home button here, and then now you can pan left and right, up and down. All right, I got a picture of that picture over there, <laughs> a picture of the picture. And if I want to save this picture, I can press the zoom in and the freeze button at the same time. And it has saved that image. The Luna 6 also has reading lines and reading masks. You can activate those either through the menu here, the home menu, or you can do it during live view here by pressing both the zoom in and zoom out at the same time. And you have four different masks and lines to choose from, pretty standard. You can also adjust these by pressing the home button and the zoom in and zoom out. These are all adjustable, which is pretty nice. All right, let's take a look at the home menu here. To move around, you use the zoom buttons here zoom in and zoom out will move your little indicator box around and if you want to choose something you click the mode button which is your bottom left the co color contrast button here we are in the gallery this is the image that i took a minute ago so i can click on this image and interact with it just like we did before you can also connect your luna 6 to your computer via the usb port up there at the top and you can transfer your images to your computer so that's really nice next you have the led lights you can choose to turn these on or off the leds on the back of the device then you have sound so you can turn the beeps on or turn those off then you have screen brightness you can choose to increase or decrease the brightness of the screen Next, we have high contrast color adjustment, and this is really cool. So you can adjust how contrasty the colors are. So for example, this yellow, I can make it more contrasty or less contrasty. And then we have our, speaking of colors, <laughs> all of our colors here. I believe there are 10 different color, high contrast colors, and then the natural colors, so 11 in total. You can come through here and choose which ones you want to show up in the menu. I know for me personally, the blue and yellow doesn't do anything at all. I can click on that one and it puts a little cross slash on that color, meaning that it now will not show up in the menu. 
And now if I'm cycling through my colors here, those blues are not going to show up. And then the final option here in the menu is settings. Uh, obviously, be careful poking around in that one. Okay, guys, so that is the Luna 6 digital video magnifier brought to us by Zoom Max. Just a very solid little handheld portable digital magnifier. It may not have as many features as some of the competitors on the market, but it also doesn't bring in the higher price tag that those competitors do. Most digital magnifiers kind of in this range are five inches, but you have six inches with the Luna 6, and that creates this more widescreen effect, which is great when you're trying to read text. Uh, no complaints about the screen quality itself and the camera resolution, 13 megapixels is plenty. I will say the kickstand here, it feels a little thin. Um, I would just be very careful when that was extended. I don't know how easily that could accidentally snap off, but it feels a little, uh, a little tenuous, I guess you could say. Probably the coolest thing has got to be the wireless charging, the little wireless charging plate that you get, and then of course the battery life. Uh, five hours of use time is really, really incredible, actually. And, and you get the little carrying bag. Kind of cool. Okay, guys. Well, if you would like more information about the Luna 6, of course, I will have that in the description down below. Huge thank you to Zoom Max for sending this demo unit out for me to make this video for you guys. And of course, a huge thank you to you for watching the video and for liking. <laughs> Please like the video. If you found it interesting and you'd like to help out the channel, click the like button, share the video. If you have any questions about the Luna 6, be sure to leave those in the comments down below. And I'm going to be doing a live stream soon featuring the Luna 6 and another digital magnifier. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be doing demonstrations and answering questions during that live stream. So that will be a great place to come in there and ask those questions. But that is it for this one, guys. As always, Sam with The Blind Life. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.